wad number three for the CrossFit division. This wad is a chaser wad. You'll have 10 minutes to do as many rounds as possible, or actually what we'll be counting is as many heavy rope swings as possible. This wad involves box jumps, uh, kettlebell swings, and push-ups, seven of each. So this wad will be officially known as the sevens. You are going to be doing a chaser wad of 777, and depending on your level is how many um, heavy rope swings. Uh, so the way it works is that your team will start at your platform. One person will start at the box jumps. The other person will start at the uh, push-ups when called. So I'll you see the way. Samantha will start at the push-ups. I'll start at the box jumps. And Edith will wait to be tagged. As soon as 3, 2, 1, go starts, me and Samantha will both start our reps. And I'll hit my box jump. And she'll be doing her push ups. Okay, when I'm done with my box jumps with seven, I move my kettlebell swings, and she moves to the heavy ropes. Okay, I'll be doing my kettlebell swings, she'll be doing my heavy, heavy ropes. Once she completes her prescribed reps of heavy ropes, she must move the cone on top of the smaller cone to indicate she is done with the round. After, after that, while I'm still working, she'll tag her next partner, and that partner will run and start on the box jumps. This will continue where you'll always have one person resting and two people working at a time until the 10 minutes is up. A few things to know is that uh, you cannot pass your partner in front of you, so if there's somebody in front of you and you get to them, you have to wait until they're done with their station or their movement before you can go on. Uh, the second thing is, is that um, you'll be moving the cone. Once you get to 10 rounds, if you finish more than 10 rounds in that 10 minutes, the last cone, you need to move the cone from the last marker all the way back to the first one. Okay? Uh, now for standards. On the box jumps, Samantha will do the box jumps. You guys have done these things thousands of times. You know what we're looking for. It's a 20 inch box for, uh, it's a 16 inch box for level one women, a 20 inch box for level one men, a 20 inch box for level two women, a 24 inch box for level two men. Uh, make sure your hips are, are, are locked out. Everything's controlled on top of the box before you step down or jump down. You must leave the ground with two feet, uh, and you cannot step up. So none of the open rules, there's no step ups allowed on this workout. Okay? And a couple of no reps would be not extending fully on the box. Okay, that's a no rep, or jumping off with one foot on the box. Okay, that is also a no rep. Cool. Let's move on to the kettlebell swings. On the kettlebell swings. Um, one particular thing is, is that you cannot drop the kettlebell on the ground. Or in somewhat close proximity, you have people running back and forth. If you're safe, you have to place the kettlebell on the ground. If you do not place it on the ground, that's an immediate perfect penalty. So, Samantha will start her kettlebell swings. All we're looking for here is that the elbow, the elbows or the upper arms cover the ears. Okay? ears don't have to necessarily show through. I just want to make sure that they're covering the ears without hyperextending the neck. So making sure your elbows or your upper arm is covering your ears, that's where the rep will count. You don't have to, and without doing this, okay, you can't extend your neck. Your neck has to be neutral in that portion for it to count. Cool, so that's the no rep. All right, she has to stay neutral neck. The kettlebell has to come up high enough to where her uh, elbows upper arms and upper ears. Cool. Then she places the kettlebell down. Uh, Edith or Samantha will start with the, uh, show you guys the push-ups position. Feet must be on top of the plate. For level one girls and level one guys, you may start from kind of a snake position as long as the hips are in line with the shoulders at the finish. So her hips and her shoulders have to be in line. She cannot have her hips below her shoulders as she pushes up. So that doesn't count, that's a no rep. 
Hips have to come in line with the shoulders to count. Okay? For you level two guys, level two girls, I do not want the knees snaking up. Okay, let's try to let's keep a plank the entire time as you push up. Cool? Uh, and it's also hand release push-ups. So every push-up, you must take your hands off the floor, both of them. Okay? So that makes sure that your chest is on the ground. And come to a complete controlled extension. That's the push-up, all right? On the rope swings. All the ropes are the same. You, uh, if you're a shorter athlete, you can choke up on the rope and the, uh, uh, however you like, but all the ropes are the same, okay? You can double hop in between. Uh, you can do singles. Um, you won't get any extra credit for double unders. It's a heavy rope, but that would be cool to see. Uh, However, when you're swinging, as long as you leave the ground with two feet, the rope counts. You can't do this. Okay, I don't even know how somebody would do that. It's confusing. All right, so, but when you leave the ground with two feet, rope goes under your feet, in front of you, not behind you, the rope is going to count. That's it. Your partner has to be stay behind the platform before they get tagged to move on to the box jump. And that is what 